Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now I'm just like, okay. <laughs> now for real, welcome back to Unicorn Talk, the podcast with me, Candy Bars, duh, and my best friend. Sunshine. Hey everybody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now y'all might see her on the book and on IG going by Sunny the Light. That's Sunny the Light. Yeah, so just in case you lost her, then you go find her. Sunny the Light, okay? Because she is the light. All go right. back and research. Let's, yeah, go look for that. But anyway, we got some interesting topics today for you. Yay. I want to start with the one about like moving on. So how long after a breakup do you wait to date somebody new? And is it like based on like if they have kids or is it based on how long your previous relationship was? I don't base it on none of that. I um I think I just more or less whenever I'm comfortable. Because depending on how to break up, like how it was, you know, some people get heartbroken. But but I'm not saying that I bait it. Like if I'm heartbroken or I'm in my feelings, I might take a little longer to actually want to get back to it. But other than that, it's not really a time limit for me. If I meet somebody I like tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> then we going to be friends. Let's explore. I agree. I don't think that you should have to wait. I think you should, like, you shouldn't take them around your kids immediately. Oh, no. If kids yeah. is involved. I don't think you should take them around your kids immediately. But, yeah. You no, should not I, miss out on your opportunity so because. To come home is a privilege, so. Yeah. You can't let everybody in your house. Yeah. But outside of that, though, like, dating is just dating. Like, yeah. it's against no people. So, I don't think it's a problem. And I don't think it should also be based on how long your previous relationship was either. Like, okay, so you wasted your time longer than the next bitch. Like, so yeah, because I be don't waste no more time, sis. Time. Hey, hey you if guys it was have been six, seven years. Hey, if you was in something for ten years and it didn't work out, what the fuck you waiting for uh, ten months to find somebody else, girl? You need to get on the ball, girl. You done wasted ten years, so uh, we need yeah. to hurry up and pick up where we left off. We got some time to make up for. Exactly, that's how I feel. Yeah, yeah you I shouldn't have that. to wait. I mean, who who made it mandatory to wait? I think because guys and girls, they really be upset. Like, oh, my God, you really moved on. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck is that supposed to do? Everybody want to feel like the best, like your best. Like, that was the best thing you ever had. So, you know, so it might hurt somebody feelings. But if I if I done broke up with you, I really thought about it. And it was a process. It was like I decided I didn't just wake up and break up with you. It was like a chain of events or something that led up to the breakup. So why do I need to think about it any further? I don't want you back. So I should be. They could be mad if they want to, but they be really shaming people. (laughs) You can't shame somebody like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe. Or that just mean that you was like involved with that person during the previous relationship. I don't think it It mean that either. Yeah, Um, it was too quick. Yeah, it was too quick. What you waiting on? What I'm waiting on? They, you know, they want you to wait on them. But if I know I don't want you back, if I don't left you, I know I don't want you back. Yeah, I don't really like the repeat. No reruns. Yeah, I really don't. That's why I just, you got to really try hard that shit. Because once once we try hard and we try, try again. And we done trying. They don't know what come after that. Like, what are we going to do with this? Right, I already tried. I done I tried the best that I can try. That, so. And you done tried the best that you can try. Yeah, I'm not even going to do it again. What are we trying for? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But leave your kids out of it because dudes be trying to get to you through your kids and shit. Like, oh, you need anything? Your kids need some. <laughs> what your kids need now? These kids don't miss you, and I don't need but <laughs> Okay? Cut it cut it loose. Cut it all the way loose, because people be playing with your kids. Like, don't play with my kids like that. You don't want me. You don't want these kids neither. And they good. And we come as a package to you. Package. Say package. Yeah. It might got a toss. Got toss and miss. 
<laughs> got abused on the way to the address. A little beat up but package, a little beat up. A little beat up package, but we come as a package. No package is perfect. <laughs> I don't think no package is perfect, best friend, you know? It said fragile. <laughs> you know, when they say fragile, <laughs> motherfucker got to drop it. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder it. if it's glass. <laughs> they didn't read it. Oh, it's okay. You know, it'd be like that. <laughs> I don't think nobody's package is perfect, though. Shit, fuck that. It don't come. Ain't nobody's package perfect. Mm-mm. So anyway, yeah, if you find somebody better do your thing, sis or sir, uh, I don't know what you're waiting for. You're going to miss out on a good thing. Talking about some shit you don't want to go back to. Okay. You know you ain't going back. Why you even think about that? Well, my Dr. Sue shit today. All right. <laughs> Topic number two. Number two. Number two. Does size matter? Like what makes sex trash? I feel like we need a guess because, like, you know, we want to know from a man's point of view, too. Yeah, I want to know from a man's point of view, too. We, y'all can always drop a comment, too. You yeah, know. leave us a comment. Drop man. a comment what and let us know. What makes a woman's sex trash to you? Mm-hmm. And don't just be like, oh, because her pussy is dry. Like, If it's dry, show fuck. Need, so, I mean, that could be a part of your explanation. I'm not saying that. I'm not okay. accepting that for an answer. But that got to be some of the answer. That can't just be the answer because, like, what makes trash like I'm not accepting that for an answer. First of all, I feel like we push babies out this motherfucker and it's shrink right back up. So you can't tell me that oh bitch done been beat down so much that she nah I wanna know. Like maybe she don't know how to use her vagina muscles or something like that. Maybe she don't have no grip. That's different than you say that she just trash. She just beat down or she just loose or whatever. Right. I, I just it'd be hard for me to believe, but I don't know because I don't have no problem. And then Second of all, as far as it being dry, I'm I'm not wanting to hear that excuse either. Because I feel like if it's dry, it's your fault. You didn't arouse her. You was trying to poke through the friction. And we're not doing that. Stop poking through the friction. Get it <laughs> ready. You feel the moist. Get it ready. Get it ready. And y'all know what that means. Stop playing. Do y'all know what that means? know what that means. They Do know y'all know what that means? Mean. They done seen a couple episodes. They know what that means, best I friend. hope they do. Cause I don't want to have to tell y'all. Size again. matter to you? <laughs> huh? I think I think size and shape matters. And shape. Yep. I don't know how to answer this because like everybody be on size. And that's I'm not like, to say that it had to be huge. But don't that's get what me I'm wrong. Saying. What what's your big might not be. Yeah, my, my big and your big so is with different. That being said, my answer is what fits me. Like mm-hmm. I need you to fit me. If you don't fit me, I don't like you. <laughs> how do you I know don't care. do can you look at it and tell if it fits you no <laughs> so how do you know that's why you I gotta try I'm a, when i somebody defend me i'm a measure them and and maybe next show if you would know might not be that soon you'll have the you'll soon, have the parameters yeah i know in the I ratio you yeah. have the ratio of penis that you need mm-hmm. to fit you okay Okay. Drop your sizes down in the comments too. They actually got this thing at the sex store that you can actually clone. It's called clone a dong. Ooh, I need to buy one so I can clone the dick that I want. <laughs> no, for real. And then you you just ask him, can you make it on him? And Nigga, you, put you it can on go. Him? I got your dick. It's in my <laughs> <laughs> I go. You Leave. Go. I don't care. <laughs> Leave. I got what I want. Scram. <laughs> Fish is scram. I cloned you, remember? I got what I want, the best part of you. He gonna get, he gonna get mad and had your had his dick. That's all right. He gonna have his take dick this from you. <laughs> he gonna take both his pieces when he leave your uh, ass. Huh, give me my stuff. You want your key back? I want my dick back. <laughs> Hey, if you ever cloned a dong, let me know. Yeah. If you ever had your dong cloned, then put it in the comments. Drop it in the comments. We yeah, know. you should clone one. But I heard that's what Safari did from Love and Hip Hop. They, and they made a it. toy like after him because oh. he's so like blessed or whatever. I did heard you that they see did. the toy? I haven't seen the toy. I, I saw it when he, it. you didn't or see when they come, dropped his new. Because it can't come in different sizes. It got to come in his size. Safari no, size. No, it's Safari size. Yeah, it's Safari size. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see when he leaked his nudes? Uh uh-uh, uh, I didn't see that. Girl. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Safari, like, if you're listening, no leak him again. He leaked his own nudes. He mm-hmm. know what he was doing. He got a monster dick. 
I done been scared of a dick before. <laughs> I have to. I don't who that man is, but that man had a monster dick, and I did not want to be fucked by a horse. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm-mm. I would never do that again. That's why I'm saying, like, some people like big, some people, I like, I know a girl that like small penises. And I'm like, you know, good. I don't. <laughs> good for you, baby. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, that probably fit her. You get what I'm saying? That probably fit her. So with that being said, that's why my answer is fit. I like, wish we had something that we could like show y'all, so we could like show y'all. <laughs> it was big to us because some people think big is like. Maybe we'll bring in a couple toys next episode. I don't know. It can be too big. You buy your size. It can be too big. I buy my size. So maybe we should just bring our sizes in. Well, see, I don't buy my toys for penetration. I buy my toys for external use. I do. I, my favorite toy is for external use, but I got a couple that's for penetration. I'm not going to sit up here and lie. I, I'm, the one that I have. Oh, my favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have fun. <laughs> the one that I have that's for penetration is not even shaped like a penis. Well, we, well, look, we can go to the sex store because, you know, we love the sex It's like store. a G-spot stimulator. It's not actually a, a penis. Like well, we're going to go to the sex store and get us a penis. And we can make a TikTok while we doing it. I want a Mr. Dependable. I don't know what him is. You stick it on the wall and like in the shower. Oh, my cousin got one of those. She was like, bitch, I be fucking it up. I was like, what she said, bitch, I be in the shower like, bloop, bloop, bloop. I was like, girl, what? And got in house D. I was like, girl, what? I wonder, man, how you do? How do you feel about your woman having a penis that she play with? You better not feel no type of way. <laughs> Y'all with it, with leave a comment leave a comment if y'all can feel, feel a type of way because i know some dudes that don't like you to have the kind that look like penises at all they rather you had little bullets and shit like that i don't know why maybe they just feel threatened by the size of the toy or maybe something maybe he don't want to hold a dick <laughs> except for his own i mean i mean but let me tell you we have all at some point in our life had a dick in our hand. Oh, oh my saying. God. We have all had a dick in our hand. Everybody. Everybody. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. <laughs> I'm just saying. Stay yeah. back. So. I think what makes sex trash, though, for like from a female perspective, when a dude is trying to give you some sex, I think what makes sex trash more than the size of a penis is the lack of... Um, the lack of body exploration they do, the lack of attention they pay to other areas besides the pussy. Yeah, if you know you're gonna be, I trash, think they neglect it. Then you need. To if you be know you're gonna be trash, you better be uh, sucking nipples, eater. toes. You better be an excellent neck, eater. Earlobe. You better you be better licking. Like feet. Hey, all that. You hey. better make my body booty hole feel boy tongue the fuck out of it. It's your dick. <laughs> Tongue the fuck. <laughs> you better French kiss this booty hole. Ah! <laughs> if you know your sex trash. Wee wee, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he got. He working with a wee wee. Oh, no, damn. If you got a wee wee, you better be French kissing <laughs> some booty hole. <laughs> you feel me, best friend. I hear you. you feel it me? makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You got a wee wee? Learn how to French kiss. <laughs> and so that brings me to um have you ever had any uh trash sex and if you did like did you tell them or did you just hit it and quit it i had to have i have had a lot of bad experiences <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad too because now like like you'll be having a good it'd be like having a good vibe with somebody mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and you like ah. Oh, everything's awesome like i can't see it i could be with this dude yeah, yeah. You know, thinking about shit you wasn't even all it's kind of great you make it to the bedroom what? and it's what? it's not as good as everything else huh? like i don't know okay he better damn not yeah, but I guess no. I'm just saying, like you have a perfect experience with somebody, like mm-hmm. the date, the conversation, everything is good, and then you get to the to bedroom. The bedroom and, yeah. Underwhelming. 
Yeah, I done had a, like a lot of different experiences too. Like I done had a man nervous on me. Nervous? What mean? Like what? He came quick or like he couldn't perform or what? Like his shit wasn't working right with him. <laughs> I'm just like you're nervous, like you know that that causes insecurity in the woman because you like uh, I Is never it me? had this problem before, and I'm a not a. Uh, Suck everybody dick, kid. I'm not going to do it the first time. Like, I don't know. Like, so yeah. it was like kind of awkward there. Hmm. And then I just had some bad D. And I, I mean, I was friends with the dude. I ain't tell him about it. You didn't but tell he him? Me, no, he made me mad. We was friends after that because I was getting some money with him. And we was friends after that. And he made me mad. And I was like, nigga, I can hurt your feelings right now. <laughs> nah, but you didn't. Like, you gonna hurt my feelings. I said, you know what? I don't even want to talk to you no more. I'm going to stop talking to you. <laughs> my presence. You should have heard his feelings. Nah, don't else, do that. So. I, I have never. I don't think I've ever. Oh, you have know you what? This I have. What did you tell that man? He hurt my feelings. Uh, see, that's what I'm saying. Like that, that's what it that's what'll make you do it. Other than that, you don't want to really hurt a man, make him feel lower than a man. So you be like, I ain't it was oh, we was, was it was oh, it was oh 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 oh. We was young, young, not too young, because we be grown, but we was young grown. If that makes sense. <laughs> so. Cause I be having to be clear, people be trying to like Act like I was talking about something happened yesterday. No. Okay. But, yeah. So, I had to tell him because he hurt my feelings. He was out here talking about he don't he don't give head or whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Whatever. I don't, like him I don't give head either. Like, shit, if you don't give head, I don't give head neither. So, we just was not giving head, motherfuckers. And then I got when he was messing ever. with this girl. I got wind from one girl that he was messing with this other girl. And she like, yeah, he gave him some hair. I said, bitch, you lame. He don't even get hair. She yeah, he do. <laughs> <laughs> I said, all he do, huh? All he do. And so I went at, I said, I see you giving head now. I just tried it one time. Oh, you just tried it one time on a stranger. Okay, well, that's cool. I said, I can't believe I ever liked you in the first place. Like, I just liked you because you was a good person. Like, your dick was whack, like, all that. And I still liked you just for you. Like, I can't believe I How even did that. How many was you called? <laughs> he was hurt. You didn't see it in his eyes. I was like, for real. Like, I, I sat there for that whack-ass shit because I just liked you as a person. And you going to... Go eat some other bitch coochie, like oh, <laughs> eat some bitch, coochie. and I'm over here dealing with this dick. whack dick. <laughs> got me dealing with this whack yeah. dick. You got me fucked up. I told him, and yeah, I wonder if he remember when I told him that. When he see me, do he think about it? He know oh, no, he is. I ain't, I ain't <laughs> what that mean yet. I mean, but I ain't ran into no. That's the only time I ever said it. Otherwise, I just had to hit you and quit you. I have to hit you and quit you. If we're in a relationship or if we're trying to be in the vibe is really that good, then I'll explain to you what was trash about it if it wasn't the lack of, like if it wasn't the size. Right. If it wasn't size and it's something that could be worked on and I really like you, I'm going to tell you, like, look, you got to do more, buddy. Not doing enough. Yeah, if it's not the size, then yeah, I might. Mm -hmm. I mean, if if the size size is right and you just... (laughs) The price is right. Experience where I need you to be, and you're willing to learn. See, mm-hmm. that's the problem too. Some people don't be willing to learn. Right, they don't listen. They don't want to take, and they don't take constructive criticism. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I get I just, it. I, I want you to learn me, and I'm gonna learn you. But yeah, I should have to say the same thing over yeah, and over again. But yeah. long as somebody willing to learn, okay. Yeah. yeah. And Absolutely. it's not the size, then yeah, I might say something like, "Baby." Let's have a talk. Yeah. Yeah. I would tell you if I, if I, if you're my friend and I'm going to see you again. If the size is right. <laughs> if the size is right. I'll tell you. If it's not, I'm going to dip out. And not tell you that it was whack. Nope. Skirt, skirt. Yeah. I had somebody to tell me, though, that you just hit me and quit me. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> a man told me I woke up the next morning. I and said, I was "What? What you talking about?" Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-uh, uh, no, I didn't. Still didn't call. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, you really want to talk about it, nigga? I don't think you really want to talk about it, nigga. Yeah, just leave that. Just let that be. Let that be. Enjoy that experience. Enjoy that. Leave it alone. And leave that where it lay. Reminisce about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you ain't never told nobody that was whack. No. I I I I mean in my head, Mm -hmm. but I can't be mean. Like can't be mean. I be trying not. to. Why does that mean? I don't know. I just don't want to hurt a man's ego. Okay, so check this out. If I'll let the next woman do it. If you're... Like deja vu. Yeah, if you Like, if something wrong with your stuff, if with your sex, don't you want to be told? Yes. Yes. I want you to tell me if something wrong. I mean, if you... Like I said, if you're willing to work, it, work on something, then yeah. So I want to be told. And even if it ain't really nothing wrong and you just want me to do something else, I want to be told that. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to wait and try to see if I'm going to figure it out. Right. Tell me. Tell me. Don't make me guess. Baby, turn your head to the side when you sucking this motherfucker. You right. Know? I like, like that. Yeah. Whatever. Like, I want you to do it upside down. I got you. I got Let you. Let me know. Baby. Tell me. you want it. Talk to me, baby. Yeah. Yes, tell me. So Absolutely. I would want to be told. I yes. think it'd be a lack of communication why sex be trash. I, if somebody tell me my sex trash, I want you to elaborate explain, yeah you gotta explain to me why you telling me my sex trash yeah because like i said i had a bad experience because the man <laughs> was nervous so if he would have came out and tried to tell me my sex was trash i would have been like well you was the one having the problem she was ready i don't think he was. <laughs> she was ready. <laughs> she was ready listen was. i had i had trash sex one time Two times because my sister told me to do it again and maybe they was just nervous. <laughs> my sister was like, I told my sister, like, girl, no, it was it happened so fast. I kind of <laughs> felt violated. <laughs> it happened so fast, I kind of felt violated. Like it was like pump, pump, but done. Like I'm like, hey, hold on, I hate I it here. Hate quick pump I hate it here. What happened? I hate quick pump like, pump. hold on, you was just got in there. Now mm-hmm. is you out? Is you done? We done? And them be the one uh, night. No, too. I swear to, no, I swear to Bob. I swear to Bob. And that was the thing. Good vibes with the dude. He had a great job. He had a good he had a house. You know what I'm saying? He like most all cars. Kind of he had all kind of pros. He had all kind of pros, sis. Oh my God. But it was like quick. It was the quickest thing ever. It was like, no. Like, when you say one minute, like, I promise you it was not a one minute. And so, I'm like, okay. He was nervous. He was excited. He Something happened. I don't know. So, I asked my sister, like, sis, is this supposed to is it supposed to happen? She like, girl, no. But maybe he was just excited. It was your first time messing with him. I'm like, yeah. She like, maybe he was just excited. You know, maybe I need to do it, like, twice in a row. Or maybe the second time it'll be different. So, I'm like, all right, cool. I'll go back for seconds. Why the fuck she ain't tell me, sis, don't do it? <laughs> I go back for a second, sis, and it was the same shit. Like, it was the same shit. I'm convinced he got, like, an issue, right? And so my thing is I felt violated because I'm like, nigga, if you know you coming in seconds like that, you know that about yourself, then you know that something is medically wrong to me. Like, that's not normal. Like, you watch porn, you watch whatever you watch, and you know that you're not supposed to come in seconds like that. Like, we couldn't even get in position I'm upset, like I'm they for real. It wasn't even the size. It wasn't even the size. But I'm just saying they should tell us all of that. But that's like impotence. You might as well not even get up for that little nut you just bust that quick. What you <laughs> he even wanted get? it. It felt good to him. It had to because it was over and done, like over and out. He got what he came for. Bitch, you did. I was not on that. I was not on that. And so I couldn't do it no more. And he was just such a great guy, and I just couldn't do it no more. And so I looked up and he was married. And I was in complete shock, but I was so happy for him because I was like, I'm glad somebody wanted to marry him. And then I looked back up and he was divorced. And I was like, oh, she couldn't do it. She couldn't do it. I mean, he was taking this bitch all over the Who world. Wants to get in the mood. He was taking her all over the world with that Who little pee pee. I'm going to tell you, though, he second. knew, not even little pee pee, that, that sharpshooter. He knew that he was a sharpshooter, so he was like giving her sniping bitches. He was taking. He is disrespectful. disrespectful. Sniping bitches. He should have been an army. He should have been an army because he was over there being a sniper. 
He couldn't even lay down in it like a sniper do. He can't even be a sniper. Disrespectful. Yeah, disrespectful. This is stuff we should I think know, that's disrespectful. And I feel don't like you? you men know and don't want to tell us. How would you feel if somebody got a <laughs> if you had sex with somebody and they came like in less than a minute and then you tried it again and they did it again? Would you feel upset with them or yourself for going back for seconds or for them not going to the doctor Both and subjecting you to that bullshit Both when they know something wrong with them? Both of them. Nigga. Both of them. <laughs> you know who you is. Hope you, I hope you watch this podcast, but I hope you got that together. I don't know. I think men know, and they should tell us. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, they should tell us. I think men look at they. Do, I wonder, do they? He should be like, baby, I'm going to come quick as fuck. I ain't going to lie to you, right? Like, But I got, I, I'm going to take care of you. Say that. Yeah, like do everything in in before. Say that. Tell me. Make sure I come if you know you gonna come and say exactly. You better you better have the best head in the motherfucking world. You better eat a bitch right out the bed. Who this calling me? That's what you better do though. If your if your sex is trash. Yeah, you better eat me off the bed. If you put me back in the bed and, and eat me if, again, if bitch, don't, don't fit, get on me and come in two seconds. <laughs> yeah, if it don't fit, yeah, or you come fast. So listen, let a bitch know. we got <laughs> y'all smile, men. Y'all yeah. know y'all smile. Y'all know y'all smile. I don't like baby dicks. <laughs> Infant dicks, like y'all know. But you're like, not gonna tell him if a, if a man bring me a dick and I gotta hold it like this. You just gonna hold it and look uh-uh, at him. Uh 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 uh. Uh uh. I'm gonna tell that man to get his childish ass away from me. <laughs> the camera cut off because the battery was low. So we back. Back like hook crack. You already know. But anyway, what was we talking about? Hitting and quitting and trash out. Oh, we were talking about the come quicker. Yeah. The quicker picker I think, upper. I think, yeah, I think if you got a little dick. You should disclose that before. If you got a little dick, girl, you'll come quick. <laughs> you, <should laughs> you need to tell a bitch. You need to tell a bitch. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Yes. You need to tell me. I agree. I agree. And I think if you uncircumcised, you need to tell a bitch too. Ooh, if you walking around with a turtleneck on. <laughs> Tell me, just let me we know. Don't have a I ain't never had that ever happen to me, actually. You got a turtleneck? Is that why you put up your hand? This nigga wearing clothes in the summertime? What I'm saying is, a nigga's not going to tell y'all to tell a nigga not. Or we got a little bit. That's disrespectful. Roll want to talk to us real, real quick. What do you want to tell us real, real quick? Pop us Ladies, all I'm saying is, if a nigga got a little dick or he come quick, mm-hmm. why would he tell you? He going to fuck first and then let you talk about him. If, and then never fuck again, but at least he fucked at one time. Well, but that's fucked up. You just going to be a serial quicker picker upper? <laughs> you not going to tell no oh, bitch? naked if, ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what choice that nigga got? <laughs> what choice? He got a choice. He got a choice. He better eat a bitch out the bed and he better put her back in the bed and eat her out the bed again. And then he can put his little dick in there for a couple of seconds, and I she ain't gonna be that you. mad. That's she ain't gonna be that mad like, about it. He need to he need to make sure that, that she she together. He need to make sure she don't need nothing else. He need to make sure she don't need nothing else. Listen, one thing for sure, two things for certain. If a nigga come out and preface whatever conversation with, I'm gonna just let you know off the rip. I got a little ass dick. <laughs> that nigga ain't getting none. Hey, listen here. You're not getting it's the follow up. It's the but for me. If you say I got a low ass dick, but I'm about, I'm about to, to put you on this private <laughs> jet. We about to go across the world and view this, and we about to. I'm about to eat your pussy for as long as you until you tell me stop. To my jaw and hurt. to my jaw hurt, bitch. <laughs> and like, you ain't even no, got to worry about that. And I, you can have your toys. You want to bring your toys in there? I'm cold with the toys, baby. I got you. <laughs> bring those toys. Bring your toys. He and I be got an you. Over performer. What? In every other aspect of his life. Period. So if <laughs> you out there, <laughs> if you out there and you a quicker pick rapper, if you a sharpshooter, then you need to be fan of other ways to compensate. 
And I ain't saying you even got to be a rich nigga. That was just examples. You know, the private jet. That was examples. But I'm just saying, if you ain't got private jet money, then you need to learn how to give good neck. Okay, but no, come back because we want to ask you another question that has to do with a woman. So how do you how, how do you determine a woman's sex being trash or like how we consider size? Does size matter for y'all? And what is trash? What is trash Ponani? Yeah, the pussy pocket is the pussy. Because niggas be like, it's loose. What is loose? Oh, I got company. Somebody ain't doing they. What's them called? King, King, King. I had a bitch named Lucy before. Yeah, we got another company. But we have babies out of our vaginas and they go right back. So how is it that y'all really be saying a bitch loose? So do she not have grippers? Oh, oh shit, don't go right back. I got a 10 month old and I'm what? you, this pussy What? Is tight. <laughs> Oh, no. y'all full of shit. Yo, you full of y'all shit. Y'all yeah. Dicks, nigga. I don't care what yeah, you're you talking take, about. You, you take some time on y'all coochie cousins and shit. Y'all be, y'all be learning how to do your kegels in your yoni. You gotta do I kegels in your yoni, yoni steam. Y'all bitches ain't doing that. They popping them motherfuckers out and getting back to fucking. Well, to I mean, I was ready to get back to fucking, that, but. Nigga ain't coming back to no regular size pussy, y'all. I'm just keeping it fucking. Man, I think that scientifically the coochie goes back to where it was before the baby came out it does just that same way it dilate by itself it's never going to be virgin pussy let's make let's be clear let's be clear it's It's, never going to be virgin pussy but never going to be virgin but but you got me fucked up if the coochie don't go back after childbirth it ain't just naturally shrinking back up but no for real y'all got to do some work to get it back right, right? That's some kingdom. I mean, it be some work. That we, do. we got exercises and whatnot. But y'all acting like it stay the size of a baby. Like a baby come out and it stay oh, like that. That sound dumb to me. No. Ain't nobody saying that. That what it sound like to me. Y'all really in y'all mind y'all thing. Make it, and y'all also sizes. make it like that mug stay open like that too. Like. No. Nah, but. I mean, a nigga don't want a no loose ass pussy. Period. What is loose pussy though? Like, but do, so do that. Do that. Is her pussy loose? It did the grip. Or is your dick small? Like that's what I'm trying to get. That's what I'm trying to get at. Well, it's somebody who got a little dick who watching this, and it's somebody who got some loose pussy. <laughs> See? See what I'm saying? <laughs> True. I agree. Yeah. So I don't know. But what is trash? That's for me. How you how you determine trash? You gotta I fuck back. Interrogate my guess. The man can't no, do all the work. You gotta fuck back too. You know what I'm saying? The first. You gotta thing, talk shit too. You gotta talk shit. You gotta fuck to back. This. You gotta slow wine for me. Slow wine for me. You gotta wine on the dick. She said what she said. Okay, now what right, we talking ready. about? We talking about trash pussy. What makes trash pussy? Speaking to the mic. Well, you gotta you gotta talk shit while you fucking from. Okay. You got your your vagina has to grip the dick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have to fuck back. You can't just be getting fucked. You gotta fuck back. You gotta you gotta kind of take control. Sometimes mm-hmm. you can't just be getting the shit fucked out of you and not take control. Some, Some of the too. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, Hold the leg man? back or two, bitch. Yeah, and you. <laughs> And I ain't gonna say it'll be trash, but you gotta be willing to switch shit up. It's a man. A man shouldn't have to tell you to switch shit up. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to be telling the man, like, "Hey, you can't keep on coming with the same shit." Right. A man shouldn't have to tell no female that. I don't. I, I want to switch it up in one session, so I feel you. I'm not gonna want to fuck the same way the the whole time, mm-hmm. nigga. Let's turn around. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that that can make some shit trash or get boring. I mean, nobody shit should. The vagina is a beautiful thing. It shouldn't just be trash, though. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't just be walking around with no trash ass box. <laughs> if a nigga ever tell you your box trash, he mean that shit. Listen, I think <laughs> and that here I am not telling these men. Here we not is not trash. telling these trying niggas to, they trash. Trying to heighten your ego. Trying to be and polite and shit. I don't think. I think that we should tell a person. Coach that nigga up. Coach him up. We should Every, tell him. Yeah, that's what she said, though. I like, coach. You know, if it could be listen, workable, why not? This the him? thing, though. This the thing, though. What if it's, it's if one it's thing trash, in coaching. Yeah, but it's right. one thing in coaching. 
And then it's one thing and I'm having to like really take your ass to school. If I'm coaching you, then you come to the game with an idea of how to fucking play. I'm just teaching yeah. you the plays. Right. If I'm a fucking teaching you from scratch, like you've been just watching porn your whole life. Right. In and out with the dick. Like, I don't want to have to tell you that you need to like scoop in the pussy. Scoop in that bitch. I don't. Do the cry baby in that shit. Uh oh. Huh? Okay, <laughs> so yo, we got Jr. the star just joined us. He all on the podcast because he was all in the background having his light skin opinion. So we gonna bring him on camera, let him say what he got to say. I'm drunk, I've been micro dosing. I had big <laughs> weed. Uh, you know what it is, man. All right, so what he said. Anyways, so we was asking him, you know, what what makes pussy trash, and he said that. The pussy is good. The worst pussy is good. So it's not trash. I said the worst pussy could ever be is good. Mm-hmm. Pussy is amazing. And it's up to the nigga to turn it on and use it as an instrument. You feel me? It's up to you, my nigga. So do you feel like it could be too loose or, or she just don't got no grip or she need to do some kegels? Now, it can't be too loose and she might have to do some kegels, but... We can still use the pussy as an instrument. And if we got a time to pee out, we can go to the mouth. You feel me? So we can always turn it up. No Period. What. Thank you. Okay, go to the mouth. And that's how and I feel like, the fuck up. That's how I feel about <laughs> little penises. Go to the mouth and turn that shit the fuck up. Okay? Because you know if your pee pee little and you know if you're going to come quick and that's all good. We saying that's cool, but you got to disclose hold on, hold on. that information of beforehand. Give a bitch a choice. Do she want to get bust on real quick? Like, do she want to stay there for that little three seconds of dick? Are you going to make the rest of her time worth her while? Or is she just coming for the three seconds of dick? If so, that's a violation. So micro peckers get a goddamn pass. I didn't know that. I never seen a micro pecker. Let's be clear. <laughs> she said quicker picker up or something. I never seen a micro pecker. The quicker pecker. I'm you not the finna even show fucker. me that. You not even finna show me that, and you didn't tell me about it prior to. Like you not that's even about to do that because that's when I'm gonna get mad at you. Set you real quick yes. and act like we ain't. That's when I'm gonna get mad at you. Like I, how y'all always say, I'm gonna put my hand down there, <laughs> and then when you turn away or blink, I'm gonna smell it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know that trick. I ain't doing that shit real quick. You don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I like just be like this. Yeah, you know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you your know. shit better be right. I mean, but it's still, smell it in but her it's face. still a playoff though. Like you ain't just like. <laughs> <laughs> like you ain't letting it be known you trying to smell the pussy sometimes you gotta smell the balls too balls be mercy they sure do yeah some must is good must though look 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 i was about to say but some <laughs> females some females like when a nigga come through a little musty maybe once every Every blue moon. You feel me? Why is blue that? Moon. No, what's up Because that? that's sign of a working nigga. It's the pheromones. Working, it's the pheromones that come from the body. Like, it's some natural it fucking... No it's, some it is, it's some animalistic yeah. shit. So, I got a question. It's not... I've been in the heat all day, and these draw stuff... Like, I was clean when I went to work. <laughs> it's like I was clean when I went to work. I nah. showered before I went out here, and I cut yeah, this motherfucking yeah. grass, a but I'm about to come back in. never be musty, though. So, why... Listen, about the on the, on, on the man's side, though. Nah. On the, on the man's side. I know a nigga that like must. I know a nigga that likes some must, and he like a hairy coochie. He said, don't shave that coochie, girl. And I know a nigga that be like, like wear your shoes with no Ooh, socks damn, all Harry, day. Harry and the Hendersons? Wear your shoes with no socks all day. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I like to leave a these niggas hair nasty because I, I I be feeling childish sometimes. So <laughs> you feel childish I like with the ball coochie sometimes. What like, you leave a landing strip? And we ain't even gonna discuss that. But I'm just I'm saying. just asking. What you got landing strip, best friend? What you got a a, a triangle? Yeah, she got a tree. You got the tree of life, bitch. <laughs> what you got going on down there, best friend? Talk about it. <laughs> if you know, tell me in the comments. <laughs> hey, if you know, if you know, tell me push. in the comments. If you know, you know. <laughs> tell everybody else in the comments if you know. Tell How y'all like, the, coo like the coochie else groom? Comments. How you like the coochie groom, dark skin man? It could be bald. It could be a landing strip on there. It could have a little hair more than a landing strip. Just don't have that motherfucker looking like a 70s fro. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So you got so you gonna move the hair out the way a little bit. I'm a real nigga. I take the coochie as it comes. I prefer I prefer like low key the triangle. I'm cool with the landing strip. I take I don't the coochie want the fro, as it comes. But I don't want it bald because that's weird. So that's you feel me? Don't want me cut. I don't want the fro. But I don't want it bald because that's weird. You feel me? Yeah, you gotta have. So you don't like the wax? You don't like for a bitch to wax and slide it on your lips? I don't like that. Pussy ball like Caillou. Wax the lips. Pussy ball like Caillou. <laughs> pussy ball like Ro. <laughs> I, like I like the pussy well. to be clean and not have too many mouths on it and just you feel me. What's too many mouths? Let's discuss. Uh-oh. Cause you Uh-oh. want the pussy to have some experience to it. You don't want no pussy that's just gonna lay there. So how and much she, experience can a bitch have before you consider her having too many mouths? Oh my god. god. How much uh, <laughs> How many miles is each 30, nigga worth? If she 30, each nigga got, I mean, I don't know, a thousand miles, damn dear. If she 30, she can only have like 20,000 miles at the max, you feel me? This is 15 years of fucking. 20,000 miles at the if max. If she 30, for she me. ain't been fucking for 15 years now. Nah, everybody been fucking since they was 15. A lot of us. Some been of fucking. us ain't been, been fucking, fucking since, since we were 15, sir. Some yeah. of us yep. were responsible and we and were some children. Of us ain't. And we be fucking longer than look, that. Look, 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 look. Yeah, you feel me? You so, said, oh, you the fucking the elementary. <laughs> elementary. No, I didn't say it was me. I didn't say it was me. Some of us have been fucking longer than that. Stop playing like y'all ain't no motherfucker yeah. fucking at 12. I knew people that was fucking. fucking. At 12 and I wish I could have did that. I, was I just didn't do that. Well, you was just getting a jerkage? I wanted to. Yeah, I needed the whole thing at that 12 years That's old. That's because the sluts wanted to be good girls with you, didn't they? Well, they weren't being that good because they was jerking the niggas <laughs> up in math class at the same time. They was jerking your dick off. But- oh, he going to say that oh, name. Oh, oh, shit. Nah, <laughs> hey, I know who he just said. I know them. <laughs> oh, my God. Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> hold on. Well, hold on. Hey. Hold on. Hold on. They didn't. Hey. Now, nah, hold up. They didn't. They did, they didn't do that. They didn't they didn't they didn't do that to me when I was in sixth grade. They, did, it me, they but, did it to me. <laughs> but in high school, they was on some other shit though. Them too? In yeah. high school, they was on you some other shit. You lucky dude didn't get caught in that trap. That trap got a whole lot of babies in it. Boss, you Hey, bro, bleep that out. Let's make sure we bleep that out. Let's talk. Got nine kids. Nah, this is a Oh, nah, we got the same goddamn Same person last night. Bitch, I was about to say, your man is. Nah, I'm just Well, everybody a whore. Don't do that. But she good. People know she went to Mulligan still. Hold on, they name dropping all on this motherfucker pod. And I didn't even tell y'all that I was talking. Hey. Well, <laughs> since we're name dropping, <laughs> hey, you can't hold on, hold on, hold on, we gotta edit all of that, everybody. We didn't do one pop where we name drop the whole time, though. Hey, look, hey, everybody, I just need y'all to know all the editing and the bleeping out for this show is about to be powered by Moose Global, 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 Global. <laughs> now nah, we ain't gonna say people name. But anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Let's do the last five. Okay. Yeah, last five. <laughs> do you tell a woman her sex is trash or do you just hit her and quit her? I always recycle. <laughs> See, I don't do no repeats. I no reruns. No reruns for me. Yeah, I'm going to just hit her and quit her. I ain't, I ain't holding on to nothing. I'm leaving it in the past. You not going to tell her? Whew. Damn, well, how are people supposed to know when they got trash sex if nobody ever tells yeah, them? Man, no me. Else. I'm not the nigga to tell time. you. I'm not her man. I'm what not made her it daddy. trash? I never had trash There was pussy. no fucking back. I only ever had good pussy. There was no so. back. No, no fucking back. So she just was a fish in the water. Just she a dead just, fish. So that was just lazy pussy. You want trash pussy? It she was. was just I never had object. trash pussy. Yeah, she just lazy. Nice. Pussy, she just pussy just can't be trash. You really don't think so? Unless I don't know. A, I never had no. Unless she burning. If she burning, then yeah. That's then the pussy one, trash. One, yeah, one in 99 is trash. That ain't even a pussy. Dick I don't know can what be that trash. Is. I don't give a give fuck. Dick can one be out, trash. One out of 100 is trash. Dick can be trash. 
What make dick trash is if it's if it's too small where you really cannot you can't feel it upon entry. I said it could be average size because you can still grind on the average size dick. You can hit the dick a certain way and slide on it a certain way to still get to the spot. But if it's not even average size and you can't really it don't do that when it enter. You know that. Yeah, I had you an know that. Ass to come with me missionary. <laughs> you know that. On top of hey, it, it was great. great. <laughs> if, you, if you slide it, but like friend. he couldn't get on top. It was like, nah. Let me rap. Off on that first slide in, she just like this. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, back out. Back out. <laughs> back out. Exit. Back out. Back out. Exit. No, for real. But yeah, so. Y'all done let some niggas hit y'all with the gummy worm. I mean, with a, with a my nigga, when he, when he tried to do round two, of course. Yeah, get and that. Like, hey, get bad. them couple <laughs> pumps. Working. Get them couple pumps and then it get back. But I mean, if it don't get back, it's more one way to skin cat. You don't got to always just, uh, you don't got to always just poke at it until the motherfucker get hard again. A real bitch going to get it back if she really want yeah, that round exactly. two. A real, a, real, a real nigga going to say, my shit <laughs> you ain't real, back right yet. You a nigga real quick. Hey, hit them <laughs> balls too. Don't <laughs> leave my balls then, then the spotlight is on you I until like I get back nigga. right. So y'all like y'all balls play with? Hey, yeah. listen, don't neglect my balls. You feel me? Hit them balls too. Yeah. What y'all want to neglect? Not on my goddamn body. Be when you touch hold on. Too. So how do y'all leave it in the comments? How do y'all want us to play with the balls? Y'all want us to gently hold the balls? Y'all no. want look, us to jiggle the balls? Look, I want you. To, want I want to, you to do this. This the this I'm the new shit. Mind. Listen, <laughs> when I'm hitting you from the back, you gotta reach back and grab and the grab balls. Up. You feel me? Yeah. I'm in love with that. That's a new move. I don't know who taught him that move. My nails be too long for that though. Nah, 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 you get a little booty hole when you do that. If you do it right, if you do it right, you swipe a little booty hole on Here accident on purpose. Here she go. You go to grab it back there Here like that, go. like oops, act like you did on accident. They like that shit. Oh, so you a no, swiper? <laughs> I'm a swiper, no swipey. Swiper, no swipe. I'm a left. Swiper, no swipey. Hey, cut that part out. <laughs> swiper, no swipey. <laughs> you on that swipe? I just want to see if you like it or not. No. I think they like that shit. Then if you like Somebody it, what, what might you do, do with some You like your there. booty swipe? If you like it, what you going to do then? <laughs> I kill a bitch that ever come near my booty. Don't play with me. Don't do that. You should not be I like that. I, I don't believe you. you. real freaky, you will let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I wouldn't. Nah, I'd do it to you, though. You feel me? But don't touch. <laughs> stay away from my booty, though. Stay away from my booty? <laughs> what about you, bro? You want your booty lit? No, I don't want my booty lick. Fuck out of here. You don't want to I'm in the booty game, but I ain't in the <laughs> let me get my booty eight game. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you're not a member. This nigga be getting eight out. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> hey, Trick Daddy was tripping. All the way up there was bro. Be I love Trick Daddy. This motherfucker. I Trick Daddy, too, though. I love Trick Daddy, but I just can't imagine him putting his legs up getting his booty eight. It was not a sight I wanted to see. <laughs> but anyway... Look, we talked about how long after a breakup do you wait to date somebody? We said you don't motherfucking waste no time. If you already wasted 10 years, bitch, don't waste another motherfucking second. If you run across a nigga, we didn't ask you that question. If you run across, we don't give a fuck about that. We answered that. We answered all of that. We done with you when we done with you. Women take a long time to be done with a nigga anyway. So when we get to the point of yeah, being done, like, we already done. There's nothing else to think about. We already was done a month, a, a year already. ago, and we tried to not be done with you before we was actually done. So there's no wait period. Bitch, go get your That's motherfucking nigga. That's why go we, find your husband. That's why there's no wait period. Hey, we're wrapping up. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Up, Women got options. Niggas got options. You don't need no wait period. You meet people you more compatible with than your mate or your previous mate every motherfucking day at the grocery store, at the gas station, wherever you go. Don't you waste no time and don't you miss out on your motherfucking true thing because you talking about I need to wait 365 days before I get in another relationship. Nobody want to hear that shit. Second of all, does size matter? Um, and what makes sex trash? We talked about that. We discussed a whole lot of shit that makes sex trash. But it sounds more like it's the experience and the attitude of the person and all that shit. Because from what I'm told from my guys, all pussy is good. It can be better than good. But you, it's up to the man to make it great. And I agree with that. 
And then also we talked about do you tell somebody if their sex is trash or do you just hit them and quit them? And it's been our experience that we're just hitting quitting shit over here. So somebody got to tell Everybody. these people that their sex is bad. I don't know who's going to get the courage to do it. I think we got to find a nice me. way. We got to find a nice way to tell people their sex is trash, man, because they need to know that so they can make it better and quit going out here and being quicker picker uppers. Okay. And so um, last but not least, you know, never forget to wash your pussy and count your money twice. twice. And we out this bitch until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.